This is the man who deactivated the Donald Trump's president's Twitter account. Bobby Yarda Isk, a former California State University student, is the person who briefly silenced Donald Trump's personal Twitter account in early November. The person responsible for the 11-minute deactivation of President Donald Trump's at Donald Trump Twitter account in early November was a third-party contract employee who worked for Twitter's trust and safety operations team in the San Francisco area. He had been on the job for about four months. The temporary deactivation was a strong signal that Twitter, which has gone to extraordinary lengths to court politicians and world leaders to its service, has not taken similarly extraordinary measures to protect their accounts. TechCrunch first reported the contractor body Yarda Isaac's role in deactivating Trump's Twitter account. The ISK indicated on his LinkedIn page that he was temporarily employed at Twitter through the contracting service Pro Unlimited, which provides staffing services to dozens of Silicon Valley companies for tasks like content review. The ISK did not return multiple requests for comments sent to his Facebook page and an email address in early November. phone number associated with him was turned off as of November. 3, the day after Trump's account was taken offline. Twitter declined a request for comment in early November. A spokesperson from Pro Unlimited did not respond to multiple requests for comment at the same time. Originally from Germany, the ISK has a master's in banking and finance from University of Birmingham in England and finished a postgraduate program at California State University, East Bay, in Hayward, California, according to a person close to him. The ISK was also head of the university's Turkish Student Association. A Facebook page for the contractor said he was a member of the school's startup scene, while another related post showed him as a former volunteer security guard at a Bay Area Muslim community center. An August update to the Facebook page for that religious center features photos of the contractor helping to deliver bikes and school supplies to underprivileged and refugee children in the community. After BuzzFeed News contacted the organization on November. 3. It deleted that post from its Facebook as well as a video featuring the ice on YouTube. I cannot believe he had access to deactivate the most important account in the world.